Hello, this is Phil Heinz from Panduit, and I'm going to show you how to access and download Panduit's Revit family files, and then I'm going to give a short demonstration on how to load the family files into Revit and how to use them inside a Revit project. But first of all, I'd like to tell you that all of Panduit's Revit-related files are located on a website called bimobject.com. And Panduit has a product site there. So all you have to do to access it is to go to www.bimobject.com forward slash Panduit. Once you go to that location, you will see the page that looks like this. And you can see it has some information about Panduit. If I scroll down, it has the latest uh, product uploads from Panduit there. I can click on any one of these to get more information about each one. I can view all of the Panduit's products by clicking this link, or I can go up to the search bar and I can search for a specific product. So just note that when you're using this search bar to search, you would be searching the entire BIM object catalog. So if you want a, a Panduit product, make sure you type Panduit first, followed by the product type that you're looking for. So in this case, I will type cabinets and I will press the enter key. When the search results appear, you can see here are all the products related to cabinets. And so for this demonstration, I am going to select the N-Type Standard Configured Cabinet. I will click on that, and that will bring me to the page for the cabinets. I can uh, scroll down and find more information about these cabinets. I can also see that there are four files available for download. So if I click the Download button, here are the files that I have available. If we have a product information file, that will be available here as a PDF. Also, we usually provide a Revit project file that will set up the schedule for that type of product. So if you want to use that to, to set your schedule up, you can do that as well. But the most important file is the RFA file. That is the Revit family file. And you can also see in this list, we also have a text file available that is called a Revit Family Type Catalog. And so if you see a text file that has the same name as the Revit Family File, this tells you that you need to download both files in order for the family to work correctly in Revit. So I am going to go ahead and download the RFA file. And I will save it to a location on my hard drive. And once that download is complete, I will go and download the text file, which is the family type catalog. And make sure you save the type catalog to the same location as the RFA file. I will save that there. And now I am free to go back to the BIM object site and download more product files or I can use the files that I have already downloaded in my Revit project. So I will uh, switch over to Revit now. You can see I have a sample room available here. It's a Revit project file. And so once you either create a new project or load an existing project, then what you need to do to use Panduit's Revit family files is to go to the insert tab and click on that and then click on load family. Then navigate to the folder where you saved your family files. In this case I only have one. I will click that and then I will click open. And since there is a type catalog available, Revit uses that to display all of the parts that are in this family that you can choose from. 
and they do that so that you can only pick a few of these you know, only pick the ones that you'll need to use instead of downloading all the parts and that keeps your Revit project file from getting too large so I am going to click two of these to use and so I click the first one and then I can hold control and select the second one that I want to use and now I can click OK you might see a conversion message uh, depending on your version of Revit it might need to convert it and once that conversion step is done now the family is loaded and so once I have the family loaded I can go to my project browser here and I can scroll down into the family section and for most of Panduit's Revit family files we put them in the de data devices category so if you scroll down to the data devices category in your in your families folder and expand that you'll see the Panduit family file for the cabinets that we just loaded once I expand that you see the two products that I chose and those are now available for me to use in my Revit project so I can click one of these and drag it into my project it is now connected to my cursor and I can place it anywhere in my project that I would like it to be in this case I will place two you place them as you need them I will pick the second cabinet and I will drag and drop that and place that one here and just as you can see we are right now in the floor plan view so I'm designing from a top down but once I place my cabinets I can go to a 3d view and I can actually see my room now and I can see my cabinets inside my room if you want to you can also place more I'll cancel to get out of the placement mode and now you see I have my cursor available to select so if I select one of these cabinets that I placed and look at the properties you can see I have many different settings I can choose from since the cabinets normally going to be placed on the floor level but some of our other products may be hosted to a face so you might be able to snap a patch panel into a rack or a cabinet or you may be able to put something on top of a cabinet so we have different placement options there there's also many other options that you can choose from to activate or deactivate and then there's also all the information available about the cabinet itself the part number the description and information like that that information will also show up in the schedule if you generate a schedule for data devices so this was a very brief overview on how to download and use our files and of course there's many ways you can use all the other parts we have available but if you have any questions regarding Revit or our Revit offering, or you need some help or support for our products available in Revit, we have an email address set up that you can contact us. And the address is revit-support at panduit.com. So if you have any questions regarding Revit, please send us an email and we will be glad to help you. And I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching. See you next.